A warm and sunny day, but it is windy out there. Storm Track 3 meteorologist Katie Melvin joins me now. Katie, I'm not complaining about the wind because <laughs> I'm so happy that's warm out. Just an observation. It is nice that it is mm -hmm. finally warm. You know, I'm yes. from down south. I'm used to the 80 degrees. It seemed like it took us forever to finally get to it that really point. Did. But yeah, and then of course it's super windy mm -hmm. outside today. And the wind unfortunately is going to stick with us for a little bit longer. And also, unfortunately, the sunshine and the warm temperatures won't be sticking around too much longer either. But for right now, it is very nice outside. Here's a live look in Perryville. Perryville is a great example because you can see that flag kind of blowing in the wind there. Perryville right now at 81 degrees, so very warm. But those southerly winds at 24 miles per hour, that's not even the gusts, that is just the wind. So if you're out and about today or if you're trying to eat outside, if you're maybe out on the boat, then yeah, you're going to feel those winds for sure. But everyone across the area, for the most part, other than Sparta and West Plains at 79, everyone is in the 80s somewhere. We got Sykes in at 82, Cape at 80, and Marion is also at 82. But tonight, the gusty conditions will continue, and we are tracking our first chance of rain. Tonight, it's only going to be a very, very scattered event. I doubt most of us will really see anything. Most of the rain will be coming in tomorrow afternoon, sticking around through the evening and into Monday, unfortunately. But here is radar right now. I've got a few things to talk about. The big thing is we've got the low off to our west. That's our next rainmaker. It's got the cold front extending off of it. That cold front is what's going to be bringing some showers and some moisture. But see, we're kind of stuck between we've got a high in the Atlantic. We've got a low to our west. That's creating a pretty tight pressure gradient. That's why we're actually seeing these windy conditions. So right now, winds across the area somewhere in the 20s, although Sparta really close to 30 mile per hour winds right now, dropping down into the teens at 7 o'clock and overnight. But as soon as we get into tomorrow, they're going to pick right back up. This is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Maybe if you're going to church in the morning, Mount Vernon almost at 40 mile per hour winds. And they're just kind of staying with us for most of tomorrow as well. So don't let that catch you off guard. But here's the other thing that we're tracking this weekend. It's our next chance of rain. So I hope you've got to enjoy some of the sunshine. But this is tomorrow at 7 a.m. The clouds are returning across the area. We've got some scattered showers beginning but the most of it is still off to our west. But as the cold front moves to the east, you can see the showers really start to pick up. This is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Some of our northern and western counties are really going to start seeing that first. But the really strong stuff is going to be coming a little later. So this is tomorrow night at 11 p.m. It's starting to pick up just a little bit more. And yeah, it's just it's going to be uh, some pretty strong storms at some time and then showers are going to linger through Monday as well. So just a lot of wet conditions expected soon and I know nobody's really looking forward to that. So tonight we are expecting maybe a slight chance of rain really going to start picking up tomorrow afternoon and it's going to stay with us through Monday. The Storm Prediction Center has part of our counties under a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow and this is pretty much just because there is a chance of maybe some localized flooding events. So not a widespread thing. Uh, also watching the chance of like we talked about some winds and also possibly some hail, but the rain is going to be a big thing. This is over the next three days. So this is until after that Monday system comes through Mount Vernon, seeing over four inches, but some of us not really seeing a whole lot right outside of Union City, not even a tenth of an inch. But great chance. Download the Storm Track 3 app in case any watches or warnings do go out tomorrow then you'll be in the loop. But let's take a look at that seven days. So this weekend we are tracking that next chance of rain starting on Sunday. It's going to linger through Monday. Monday is not going to be severe. That's just going to be showers. And then our work week doesn't look too bad. We're in the 60s, so we're still warm, but definitely not the 80s. And for the most part, we are going to be dry. All right. Thanks so much for those updates, Katie. Thank you.